Well, good evening. Welcome for the midweek reflection. And um, I hope that your week's going well. And there's just a couple of uh, verses in Hebrews 13 this week which have really just jumped out at me. Um, so I'm not going to be sharing a psalm tonight. Um, but in particular, what's really just jumped out at me is found at the end of Hebrews 13. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with every good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. And what's this really just jumped out at me there isn't just that kind of well-known, you know, I made a God of peace, you know, that, you know, a great positive statement that we all just know so well. And not just the reminder there that Jesus is who he is. He's the great shepherd of the sheep. And we are those sheep. And that's amazing. But what I love more about that is the next part. Equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him. You know, I was listening to a few podcasts and videos this morning on my way into work. And one the a couple a common theme this morning appeared to be around where to start the Bible, or where am I with God and the coronavirus, or what can I actually do in this situation? It just seems like so many basic things, and in many ways so many basic things of our faith have just gone on hold. And it can be a bit of a void, a bit of a, I just don't know where to begin. And I just think this is just a great scripture for that, because it just takes so clearly that this is a, a benediction to us all. And you know, it's just such a true statement. Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, he is able to equip us with everything good for doing God the Father's will. And, Paul prays, may he work in us what is pleasing to him. You know, one of the things I heard this morning from Mike Pedavacci, I think it was, about the Bible, and if you were just wondering where do I start with the Bible was, just open it. Just start somewhere. And I feel like, you know, the great thing of this passage is kind of the same. It doesn't really matter where you are with God. If you're wondering, Lord, what what am I meant to do in this situation? It can feel like to so many that this is the time where the church should be in so many different ways doing something. Anything, something, but, but what exactly? And it's just so plainly, just part of there is a great prayer we can pray. Jesus, shepherd of the sheep, please equip us that he may work in us what is pleasing to him. And what's even better about that there is that insight into the truth of, well, the whole salvation story, the whole of scripture as we know, but it's just a great reminder in that context specifically, he will work in us what is pleasing to him. Just to approach God and just say, Lord, I am desperate in this situation, Lord, to do what I need to be doing as a Christian for you. I want to do that, Lord. I love you. I want to be in that relationship with you. Lord, just work that in me, Lord. Work it in us, what's pleasing to you. Lord, we thank you that, Lord, you have that answer of what you want us to do. And that might just be that, Lord, you just want us to just take some time to just sit and to just say, Lord, here I am. It can be something as simple as that to just start that journey into a deeper time of presence with him just coming just saying look lord i'm just going to pray this benediction may you the god of peace who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our lord jesus the great shepherd of the sheep equip you with everything good for doing his will and may god the father work in us what is pleasing to him through jesus christ to whom be glory for ever and ever amen